The Yankees won, everybody. The Yankees won. The final score is 7-6, to six, and they won it in the bottom of the 10th inning. It didn't start off so hot, though. Luis Severino was definitely struggling. You could clearly see it from the beginning. And it was the first time in Luis Severino's career that he allowed three solo home runs. It was back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back home runs. First time in his career that he allowed it. And it was 4 nothing early on. And so you later discover in the fifth inning, he did warm up, but he ended up out for good with um, something wrong with the shoulder. And he's getting an MRI on it. He will be getting an MRI on Thursday. He was taken out of the game because of tightness in his right shoulder. So we're going to see how that goes after he gets his MRI. DJ LeMayu did good today. He went two for five, and he also got the winning run, and today's his birthday. It's his 34th birthday today. So, I mean, not too bad, not too shabby for your birthday. The Yankees started getting it on in the third inning, but not after some controversy, after Anthony Rizzo got a single off of a fielding error. The fielding error was on Jonathan India when it came to him, and he should have had it. It should have been a double play, and it should have ended the inning. So the inning continued, and what happened was that more runs were scored. The Yankees ended up scoring five runs in the inning. So they ended up taking a 5-4 lead, and so that should have never happened the, in the bottom of the third. Um, India should have got it. It should have been a double play, and that should have been that. That first run shouldn't have even scored from Rizzo's single. So five runs from an error. Ooh, that hurts. The Reds ended up tying it, though, and then, then eventually taking the lead in the top of the seventh inning. So then Yankees were trying to fight for survival to win the game and not lose four straight because it would have been the first time they did it all season. But the good news is that the Yankees did eventually tie it on a solo home run by Giancarlo Stanton. When he tied it and ended up making it 6-6, nothing happened after that. So after he tied it, they ended up going into extras and it looked promising for the Reds. Um, so look, there was runners on first and third with nobody out. And then the outs just started slowly coming, you know. Again, uh, Clay Holmes was pitching, and as soon as he started struggling, they ended up talking to him, so they calmed him down early on instead of allowing another crazy fiasco mess that what happened yesterday. So then after they got did that, he did calm down and got out of the inning. It was it was good. And then I just knew it. I'm like, up, oh, here we go. They're going to win it. They're going to win it in the bottom of the 10th. And they did. In the bottom of the 10th, it started off with LeMayu since he was the last one to get out. They put him on second base. And then um, they ended up intentionally walking Anthony Rizzo. So there's runners on first and second. And there was a wild pitch. And that brought the runners second and third. So LeMayu's on third. And Rizzo's on second. And what happens after that? <laughs> Another wild pitch. And so LeMayu ends up scoring. He gets the winning run. Happy birthday. And so that was the final score, 7-6 in wild pitch fashion. Definitely something I would not have been predicting. Uh, I had a feeling they were going to win this one, but definitely not that way. So it was definitely entertaining. So good job, Yankees. You now I hope uh, Luis Severino is okay. I, it was clear from the beginning that he did struggle. But after some warm-up pitches later on, he was taken out. So I just wish him luck when he gets his MRI. I hope everything is okay. Um, and yeah, so go Yankees. Hope they have another one tomorrow. Good night.